The future of a local marine park is at the centre of a political stoush ahead of the election. The Greens want sanctuary zones fully restored, restricting fishing and visitor access in key tourist areas. Balancing biodiversity with recreational needs is a constant struggle for legislators. Nowhere has that conflict been more obvious than in the Solitary Island Marine Park. Science tells us that sanctuary zones are crucial for our fish to replenish and breed and supply to the rest of the ocean. The Greens claim the coalition has bowed to pressure from the Shooters and Fishers Party to wind back marine protection, cutting sanctuary areas at several local beaches, including popular Moonee Beach. There are also recent surveys that show that 93% of the community of New South Wales wants marine protection. But the coalition says the existing sanctuary zones are based on extensive research. What we have is the right protection based on scientific advice and scientific uh, investigation which protects the areas that need to be protected. The Greens say less than 7% of New South Wales waters have been declared no fishing sanctuary zones, but the coalition claims closing down key recreational areas will devastate local tourism. The sanctuary zones weren't there previously. People were able to access the area, fish from the beach, take their dog for a walk and actually act as a normal family. Now we've got the Greens out there saying we want to close it again. Liz Penningkoff's Harbour, Prime 7 News.